absolutely. So, hello, mm -hmm. everybody. Uh, hopefully, you guys are joining here live on Twitch. By the way, if you're watching on YouTube, hello, YouTube fam. But come join us live on Twitch. Like, it's it's more fun. It's interactive. And, uh, and we're trying to get that Twitch partnership, trying to make Twitch let go. It's like saying, no, it doesn't want, we don't want you to have it. Listen, board gamers are gamers too. Okay, Twitch? Let's go. Twitch, Twitch, Twitch is over here like, what? What, what is this? You, you're not Fortnite. No. You're not PUBG. You're not PUBG. You're That's not right. whatever other game is popular right now. Valorant, but, but I have... think it's something I heard the other day. Oh, Valorant's quite popular, yeah. Yeah. Good for them. <laughs> well, everybody <laughs> at home, uh, it is time to choose your champion. If you've never played Choose Your Champion before, it's super easy. For those of you watching live, you can check your balance on how many GSP points you got by typing exclamation point points, and you can wager those against friends just in a friendly game of betting. Here, you can choose your champion by typing exclamation point bet, type one or two in the chat, and then follow that up with how many points you want to uh, to wager on the game. You can use those points to trigger on screen animations as well as use them in our upcoming uh, upcoming uh, little giveaway we're going to be doing later today. So let's go ahead and break down those lists, Bryant. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're going to start with uh, Dire Weasel. Would Dire Weasel be one in this case, uh, Dion? Yes, Dion? yes. All right, so if you're trying to put your bet behind Champion 1, we have the two obvious candidates for this list. Um, Darth Maul uh, in, the, uh, in the Scimitar and the Sith Infiltrator, and Sunfak in the Nantex Fighter. Um, uh, obviously, the Separatists so far are a little lighter on uh, what we would consider traditional aces, they, though they do have you know a handful of I-5, I-6s. And these two are the obvious picks. Uh, I believe there's an I-5 Nantex you could have slipped it, um, that Weasel could have slipped in here, but it, it goes, to, goes without saying that um, a strong Maul and a strong Sunfak are probably the best ways to secure the win. Uh, on Darth Maul, whose ability is that uh, after performing an attack, uh, he may spend two force to perform a bonus primary attack against a different target. If the first attack missed, you can pay the same cost to attack the same target. Uh, hate to help manage the, that two force spend constantly. Proton Torpedoes, uh, which is an interesting choice I will bring up again in a second. General Grievous, uh, which is essentially a free... Uh, in this game, it will be exactly one damage cancellation unless Sunfact dies first, which will be interesting to see if that's how it plays out. Perceptive Copilot for a pair of Force Tokens. Uh, DRK-1 Probe Droids, uh, which he's already deployed one on the board. Um, those let him lock on objects within range 0 to 3 of the droids. Mm -hmm. uh, shield Upgrade and Title for cloaking and jamming shenanigans. Meanwhile, Sunfak, uh, whose ability is, if you perform a primary attack, if the defender is tractored, roll one additional attack die. Uh, and Sunfak has taken both of the Nantex unique talent abilities. It's he Snare, space, which right? lets Sunfak <laughs> pass the tractor token to ships at range 0 to 1. Those are... Sorry? No, I'm saying he has the space, so why not take them both? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And when you're going for 200, you don't care about bidding. Uh, although I think Sunfak's an interesting ship because Sunfak doesn't care about bidding because all the advantages of Sunfak's ability... Uh, happen whether Sunfak moves first or second. Um, mm -hmm. And then Gravitic Deflection, which we rarely see because of the aforementioned bidding. Um, while you defend, you may reroll one defense die for each tractor chip in the attack arcs, giving this particular Sunfak offense and defense. Um, I, I'm curious to see how Perceptive Copilot will play out. Uh, it feels like it runs up against the Proton Torpedoes that Maul has taken. Uh, on the one hand, I'm guessing he's going to try and use this Dork uh, this, I'm just going to keep calling them Dork Droids because that's my preferred <laughs> name for fine. them. Uh, he'll use the Dork Droids to try and get the lock before engagement, and then come back in with two Focus tokens to wind up that double, that double, the double tap or the, you know, the swing and miss, and then swing again. So he's burning his force exclusively on his ability. So I guess I follow the strategy now. All the um, inter uh, Sith interceptors I'm used to seeing usually either are flown, uh, excuse me, not flown by Duke or have Duke. I missed that up. Um, Usually, you can expect to see Palpatine on board, is what I was trying to get to. Mm -hmm. uh, Palpatine is a key piece. It moves both Force-using pilots on the Interceptor up to 4 Force, which enables both their abilities, Maul and Dooku. Um, and it lets you stress out your opponents and control their movement. Uh, instead, Perceptive and Shield Upgrade appear to be have taken the place of uh, those two. But meanwhile, for Player 2, I'm just going to swing across the board over here. Um, we have an interesting choice. I expected to see Anakin Skywalker. I did not expect to see him in the Y-Wing. 
Anakin has the same ability on both chassis, which is after you fully execute a maneuver, if there's an enemy ship in your forward arc at range 0 to 1, or in your bullseye arc, you may spend one force to remove one stress token. Uh, when this Anakin was first announced, and I knew some players who looked at this ability and went, wait, this is worse than Yen Nums because you have to give up a force to do it. Why yeah. is this a good thing? They were like, oh, this ship can't be good. It's going to be trash. Uh, Anakin is now an amazing pilot, but his, we've seen, I don't think we've seen him succeed in the Y-Wing as much. Yeah, um, there's some I other... think it's just the, the the flexibility of that ship is just a lot less than the Aether Sprite, so it's a perception thing. Yeah, and if you're playing most games with Anakin where you're, with an I-6 where you're trying to hoard points in some capacity, the Aether Sprite is better. The Y-Wing has to sort of walk into battle, you know, banging its sword on its shield and saying, fight me. Um, but, uh, oh, we already have an engagement? Yeah, we do. Two hits coming from downtown from uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi. But we got a lot of malls rolling a lot of dice, but on the other hand, every blank every blank you throw, uh, especially while you're rolling this many green dice, it just a feels bad. So if if, uh, if you rolls exa- weasel rolls exactly two. Oh! No. Oh, man. Oh, he got, he had it all. The shield upgrade is gone. Rip. So cr- props to player two, props to Chris for engaging really ruthlessly with his Aether Sprites and just knowing that, you know, hey, if you're shooting and your opponent's not, even if it's only two dice and it's a million green dice, you've still made the right call. Um, we'll see if, uh, I wonder if Plo will shoot the Dork Droid here. See if they decide to do that because, or if they remember you can do that, because that'll be that'll be a game maker for uh, Yeah, we had, uh, we had a couple of of, misses gonna... of, uh, of of missing the fact that people can do that uh, today. Somebody, somebody missed an opportunity oh, yeah. to take out some uh, some uh, buzz droids earlier as well. So yeah, I remember guys, like you can always fire on remotes. They've looks like they've they've reset. They moved into the end phase. That dork droid is out there. Maul is able to get his token. Although I wonder if Maul is just gonna nope away from this engagement. Although I don't know if it's if he can really. Um, Maul's just in a rough spot. To finish my breakdown, because unfortunately I talked right through right into the first engagement. Obi-Wan Kenobi rocking calibrated laser targeting for that extra eyeball result in Bullseye. Sense uh, to figure out where his opponents are going on the turns where he does not have the initiative he wants. R4P17 for some nice red maneuver actions, which for Obi-Wan that helps his ability work. You can see that choice. And then Plo Koon uh, with CLT as well. Um, I rolled right over Obi-Wan and Plo Koon's abilities. Um, uh, Obi-Wan's is spending a force to keep a focus token after you spend it for himself or nearby friendly ships. Flocoon can burn a force to either throw a green token to a friend or yank an orange token away. Uh, there's some interesting synergy you can get with that, but on top of that, it's, they're both just nice I-5 pilots. Um, C-110P, uh, our good friend Chopper, during his Clone War days, um, is ready to help with some red evades that can occur. Uh, fun fact, after executing a maneuver, not fully executing a maneuver, so that means he mm-hmm. can bump, Flocoon can bump, and still burn chop, and then once chops all the way burned down, uh, Plocoon will uh, must either take, must assign a GM token to a ship at range zero to one every turn. You're always at range zero of yourself, so that's a GM for every turn unless you're near the other ship. Um, Jedi obviously care less about GM tokens because they carry these these nifty force tokens, so they're they're pretty decent bets for hauling this jam this jam buzzer into battle. With that, uh, I guess I'm. I'm. Here's my commentary on both lists. I can mm-hmm. see just at the top before you know we've we've already started the engagement, so we've seen how movement affects these decisions. But uh, it looks like uh, um, I'm a little worried that Maul, some of Maul's built upgrades are working against each other, which are the perceptive co-pilot and the proton torpedoes. Um, and, but on the Republic side, uh, this Anakin looks really great, uh, really well primed to use Cody for a benefit. That strain token going out after you miss a shot is nice. It, it sort of makes the Y-Wings 2 die attack hurt less. Uh, if he pulls the torpedo off or if he decides to use extinctive aim on the torpedo to ignore the lock requirement, those sync up. Um, but at the end of the day, if that Anakin eats one or two nasty shots and Sunfac is really primed to just get out of Anakin's firing arc and still do damage... Um, that's a good way to burn points without uh, without getting anything for it. So we'll see where the next turn goes. We've already now, got some Jedi moving how, in. I'm excited to see how this Eager. this game ends up breaking down. Oh, okay. Goes for the 5K. Getting a little bit of distance here. 
Now, here's my question. Okay, so we had a decloak, I guess, in the system phase, because I don't mm -hmm. see that anymore. Okay. This isn't bad. He's well away. He's not in Obi-Wan's bullseye. And Plo's too far away, probably, to trade from, from where I'm sitting. That's yeah, probably Sunfac is most likely turning in uh, here. Fast Walker. I think Sunfac could go around the cloud. Because um, Sunfac's in, with, with the arc indicator facing away, Sunfac is happy to just sort of dance around in again until it's time to lunge in. Um, so, which is, I bet, exactly what uh, what uh, Chris is thinking about right now is, hmm, how hard is Sunfac turning in right now? Yep, that's where I thought he. That's where I thought he'd be. Sunfac is very happier in this spot. Going, looking over a chat, uh, Fastwalker Zero says, "How about an oddball list? Use only oddball pilots and forget the limited pattern restrictions." So it's <laughs> it's a it's a true clone war with clones of oddball. Funny enough, um. Uh, oh, we're seeing something interesting right now. Let's see if the players... Yep, he's remembering that he has to rotate his arc if he decides to take the tractor, um, which will make the next turn interesting. This is kind of the neat thing I like about Sunfac is uh, you can get some neat uh, positioning using his ability, but if you forget which way your arc is facing, you might barrel roll into range one and think, aha, it's shooting time, and then and your then arc you has to go the other direction. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, funny enough, Fast Walker, going back to chat, um, I was thinking about Oddball for this lineup because uh, Oddball is an I-5 pilot and his ability is mostly mocked, but both chassis you can... Well, two of the three chassis you can introduce him in um, have crew carriers, and I was wondering if the Republic player might decide that either uh, bringing Palpatine in on Oddball would be a smart decision, or if putting Ahsoka in the gunner seat of... Excuse me. I messed that up. Only one of them is a crew carrier in the ARC-170. The Y-Wing, both of them have gunner seats. So Ahsoka could have flown flown alongside Oddball, or flown it in Oddball. All right, we're getting some combat. Uh, Here we go. Obi-Wan going into Darth Maul from range three. This is CLT, so it's only going to be two. Oh, Obi-Wan likes that roll. Oh, yeah. Two hits. Spending the focus and spending a force. So I bet Maul, if Maul gets one blank, it's already a sad time. Two? How the about two? The two blanks is even sadder. So not a great opening. This this is one of the reasons I was asking. I wonder if uh, if Sunfac was going to turn in early. Just because um, Darth Maul's taking a beating early yeah. here without any support. And by taking that, that route on the top of the board, Anakin can just swoop in here. Yeah, oh uh, my know, god. As fast as possible and have a three on one next turn with Maul. And it's actually possible from the position that Anakin might get really ambitious and, you know, the Y Wing has some red maneuvers on the dial. Uh, mm. And it's special Maul moves before Anakin, so depending on how fast he goes, could trigger the ability, pop the stress off. Um, don't quite remember that Y Wing dial. He might have to fly over a rock if he wants the three bank, which could keep him there. But okay, next engagement. Firing back at Obi Wan. Oh, that's not what Maul wants. Use the force. Yeah, I think you just you just do the bonus attack. There's. Yeah. Yep, that's that's what he's done. He's just firing at the same target. Ugh. Oh. Just hold it. There's no reason to spend the force on that. Yeah, I'd hold. I'd keep that force. Well, uh, uh, hate, everyone has hate. a focus. And next turn, actually, he has to shoot first, so he can't even benefit from hate. Interesting. Yeah, this is what happens. Like you shoved Obi Wan did what he did in the movies. He he shoved Maul into a bad spot, and even though Maul went to kill him, Obi Wan got to Maul first. That's right. No, no, no. <laughs> Let's see. So looks like well, they're both really trying to figure quickly... out some triggers. Really quickly here, uh, as we are in the planning phase, great opportunity to remind everybody uh, that this Monday is uh, is my wedding anniversary. So I am, oh. um, yeah. Look look out on Facebook whether or not. Normally we have our podcast on Monday. I know I will not be on the podcast on Monday. I'll have to talk to Will, uh, Marcel, and Ryan to see if we can figure out uh, them covering it, but also our planned uh, our planned content. 
uh, is pretty much focused on, on me running it. So we might have to take this week off, but it does give us some time to anticipate the, uh, the upcoming points and announcements, changes uh, that are coming. Mm-hmm. Maybe we'll be able to do the rankings and just release them not as a podcast, but just as a, as a, as a visual uh, in the next coming uh, coming days. I know some people really wanted those Imperial rankings. We were going through all the factions. So uh, just stay tuned. Discord, Facebook, Twitter, and uh, we'll give you guys an update there. Well, uh, congrats on your anniversary, Dion. Thank you. And many more. All right, this is interesting. Uh, Sunfac, I can't remember the, the Nantex dial at the moment, but I do know at minimum he's got that two-turn. A two-turn, a tractor, if Anakin turns in, if they both two-turn in, and a two-turn tractor barrel roll might put Sunfac at the range one that he wants to just hit Anakin like a truck. But I don't see how that lets him escape fire, especially since he'd have to rotate. And the fact that you have to rotate his firing arc in that process is also a problem. This is all, it's all interesting because you can, you know, you can debate the value of all these upgrades all you want. But what we're looking right now is a game of, a game that's been, I won't say decided by positioning because it's not over yet. And dice have plenty of time to surprise us, but it's been established by positioning. That's for sure. Mega Silver's asking, their video is lagging. What are we congratulating Dion on? We're congratulating Dion on his anniversary, his and his wife's. Uh, That's right. Seven years. Lucky number Year. seven. Lucky number seven. Uh, so it's our seventh wedding anniversary and also our 11th uh, year together. So oh. uh, just be- because for, in- the, for the lols, we're going to take a picture in front of a 7-Eleven. <laughs> we have to. Like, so- can't, can't not do that. So something interesting has happened. The dork droid moved, and then Maul moved aggressively in. Uh, Maul should have another force back. Uh, Maul is yes. Maul, I don't recall him spending that force before. Yeah. He's spending the on. Oh, he. Mm, I would have spent that on Anakin with the dork droid move. Uh, but he spent. He went to get the lock on uh, Plo Koon, who I'm sure. Uh, I'm sure that Chris is looking at that and going, "Oh, okay, yeah, shoot Plo." Plo's not my. You know, Flo is here to have fun. Flo is rarely the center point of a list. All right. Oh, Obi Wan has gone in exactly the right spot. Ooh, look at that. Oh. oh my goodness. Oh man, when we see stuff like this, it it it's oh I I smile. I just smile just a little bit because that is, that is a slick move. And it's so nice to see it play out in TTS too, right? Because you know the ship doesn't have to get moved, and then everyone has to put things back and figure out. Oh, oh, this is not very good for Maul, and I bet nope. Anakin. The, that just thick threat- base is gonna get CLT'd, fam. CLT'd. Maul needs Obi Wan to. He needs both of them to essentially blank out, and just try to deal with that one eyeball results. Which, you know, if I was attacking, I would think that would be totally viable. <laughs> for those for those who don't know, uh, I am vaguely here for two reasons. One, which is uh, producer Nick flipped the table over during my game during Space Jam. So I'll make <laughs> some table flipping jokes every now and then. And then two, I have terrible dice, or I feel like I have terrible dice. So I tend to put heroic on my ships and then use it frequently. <laughs> I once had someone at, uh, back at LVO, someone once... Uh, um, turn me up. Oh, we have a tractor. It's out. The arc is forward, so it looks like Sunfact wants to duel Anakin, and I'll finish that story in a second. Oh, Anakin could. If Anakin barrel rolls, he's just able to pot shot Sunfact for free. Nope. No. Ooh, I don't think that was the right call with Anakin. Is he choosing violence? So it's going to affect the end game situation. I would have taken the barrel roll and dealt with the. T- He's using violence. Yeah. Yeah. So that means Sunfax is going to be able to. It's going to be able to pass that tractor over and toss him on the the debris. Oh, toss him on the cloud, and then that might put him in the bullseye arc. Yes, to all of that. Which would be if he does that. I'll quickly wrap up. Yep, we got it. Yep. We have the tractor passing. Yeah, Anakin, you should have. I think you should have barrel rolled. Some facts is going to end up having a five die shot. I think you're right. Bryant is going to end up in that, uh, 
excuse me, in that bullseye. If um if Weasel remembers that he can barrel roll him onto the cloud. That's true. Now Anakin does get a say in it. He can rotate himself by taking a stress, but we'll see what he chooses to do. Wouldn't see a reason to do that since the forward arc means he can. There's a lot of interesting, like depending on where this tractor lands. Yeah, it look, looks like we can see the barrel rolls happening. There's yes. the bullseye. Still at range one, so we shut down Anakin's torpedo. All the good things for Sunfact, even though he has to trade. And a strain. Single. No agility on that shot, five dice shot coming in from Sunfact. Well, that strain's going away right away. It basically doesn't matter for this engagement. Interesting. I wonder if he should have slid. I can't tell if Anakin slid backward at all. If, I wonder if another reason to put him there might have been to try and get his forward nubs on the cloud and make him fly over it next turn. But either way, Sunfak, who probably never probably never met or heard of Anakin Skywalker in the Star Wars universe because Sunfak dies like a punk at the end of the first <laughs> real level of Star Wars Republic Commando. It's Anakin true. goes on to have a much... Oh, we have a roll. We have a roll. All right, hit crit out there. Does he spend the focus? Uh, the crit has to become a hit right away, doesn't it? Because of uh, uh, the Y with yes. ability? Yes. There we go. They remember Played that. So three hits. Oh, yeah. He does spend it. Yeah, that's the right move. He has to get pretty aggressive and start scoring points. And Anakin, he's going to have defensive rerolls thanks to uh, Gravitic uh, Deflection. Yep. But, you know, I think this concept of this ship is neat. I think... Using tractor using tractor beams as gravity as a mechanic as a way to give it barrel rolls is neat. Ooh, oh, Anakin whiffs. Not what Anakin wanted. You were the chosen one. That's fine. Obi Wan's doing the work with the. <laughs> with the That's true. Yeah, poor Ma Maul's just getting no shots this turn. All right, All right here Plo we go, Plo Koon. This is interesting because uh, the, the 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 Jedi need to choose as much offense as possible because they they can't like one of your one of your strategic choices here is obviously always to try and um, push as much damage through as possible to lower your opponent's force. But the way this is going to play out, Maul is going to end this with either if M Maul is, doesn't end this with full force, it's because the attacks whiffed. Yeah. That's not and a whiff. That's, that's the opposite. Gonna, whiff. That's, that's the opposite. He's <laughs> that's going to be four, right there, taking at least three. We gotta, we gotta really like shout out that um, Chris knew exact. Oh, wait, Dooku's in play, or Grievous is in play. Grievous uh, yeah, so Grievous says Let's when you defend after that. maybe the saving that for a crit. Yeah. So shield, shield, and two cards there. Are there. Two or more hit crit results may spin. Oh, it's only a crit. It's only a crit. So he needs a crit in play in order to get that. So Maul's at five hall left. Obi-Wan going for a haymaker Obi -Wan here. Obi-Wan could do it. Obi-Wan showing what the high ground can do. Oh, that's that's it. That's the roll. Grievous can't trigger because there's no... Cr oh, wait. Cancel one hit or crit result. I need to read this card. So he could... He might be saving Grievous for a... Um, for a excuse me for a death blow so that he can survive and make get another turn of shooting in got the evade only takes two finally he's probably go sitting there going fine. so I just want to point out as far as the list building for this challenge um, look at all these awesome upgrades on Maul and look how none of them have come into play now he's using yep. Grievous So how does this that is the work? danger of any two ship list is uh, all the toys you bring out to the table might never get used. Um, but you, if, if they never get used, you want them to not get used because they intimidated your opponent to move out of position for them. Not because your opponent buzzed around you like a fly. So Maul down to three hole there. Uh, Jintaro is... Go ahead. Sorry, go for it. Oh, no. Okay, I was going to say, Jintaro1701 uh, chat says, shield upgrade came into play once. <laughs> Not quite. Yeah. 
I will say, I, Sunfak has enough power, and there's enough time in the 49 minutes on the clock. If Maul goes down, if Maul manages to get at least one bit of damage in, especially because Anakin's looking pretty vulnerable up here, um, if Maul were able to score that damage, because Anakin probably can't kill Maul and PS snipe him, and Sunfak wipes out Anakin with a big chunk of points, Sunfak has a lot of opportunity to score points on Obi Wan or Plo Koon and then dance away for the rest of the game. Uh, so I wouldn't count uh, Weasel out of this yet. I just think Weasel needs to start coming to grips with the fact that Sunfak is his uh, key piece here and not Maul. Yeah, especially because you have all the small bases out there. You really have Sunfak being able to take advantage of that ability. And mm -hmm. because you have CLT Jedi out there, Maul yeah. can, uh, sorry, uh, Sunfak can one-shot these. Like, that is a possibility. Yeah, well, the extra green die dice... You know, you're relying on green dice, which I try not to rely on green dice. Um, they, they betray me so often. Um, that could work in their favor, against their favor. Um, but most importantly, it means um, with all the shenanigans Sunfat can pull off, those I-5 Jedi are going to have a hard time lining up their CLTs for the rest of the match. But at the same time, Weasel has to score a lot of points to give up this this torpedo, torpedo hauling mall. All right, everybody. Uh, I want to remind you that after this round, after this round, we have our uh, marble race to to win the opportunity. And you're not winning the opportunity. You're actually winning the choice of what emote do you want added to the GSP chat for at least one week. At, I say at least There's because marble maybe, races maybe, on this channel now. Hey, man, I do it all, fam. Are they in a, are they in a simulator or are they like? Uh, do you have a brig at home for, like, marble racing? Oh, no, it's a simulator. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't quite have enough space for yeah. uh, real marbles. Though, uh, goals, I guess, maybe? <laughs> oh, that's so cool. I figure you could, like... Because I remember playing with toys, like, classic toys like that when I was a kid. Alright, let's see. Okay, Obi-Wan's... So, Obi-Wan's decided that shooting a little bit is better than shooting a fully charged shot. Maul would need to do a two turn and then like, oh, that's not bad. That's not a bad choice for Maul. It's a good way to give a big old middle finger to Plo Koon. See, looks like now some or Anakin has to move first. Mm hmm. Doing the thing Anakin likes to do, which is get behind your opponent, pop the ability. Yeah, that ability, being able to take off that stress is fantastic. You, just being able to get get access to your actions again, really, really strong. He didn't do it, though. Oh, he didn't. Missed opportunity. Missed opportunity there. I thought when I saw the cursor going back down, he just... Oh. You gotta remember that. Sunfak with the strain, which could be turned into two strains if Anakin... Uh, interesting. He might... I would not keep Sunfak there right now, even though he's got the bullseye shot on Plo Koon. Because Plo Koon's got all those green dice. He can't get a tractor token over to Plo Koon. This is just an this is just a weird spot. Weird spot for everyone involved. Anakin Anakin not spending the ability. Plo Koon choosing to go over the cloud when I don't think he had to. Oh, no. My cat has decided to join us. <laughs> Say hi to everyone at Gold Squadron Podcast, Ellie. Meow. <laughs> Alrighty, so it looks like Anakin has a shot here from range. range two. Just barely in range two. Oh, I can see it. Yeah, it's strained. Oh, that's not very good. This is okay. It's two dice into what? Two dice? Into one die? Two dice. Two, two on into two. Two into force. Uh, with Cody, he can keep the strain up. Two hits. Doubles. Oh, this is not what Weasel wants. Too uh, many dice. Too, too many, too many, too, too many, many dice. I'll let him know. Unless it was at range three. Yep. But it looked like it was a range two for me. He said it was range three. What? Oh, 
I guess they're calling it between them range three. Okay, whatever. That's okay. fine. They can they can ignore the computer. <laughs> See. This is the great thing. I love, I've, I've really enjoyed playing in TTS because there's so many things where I would have had like, hey judge or hey friend, can you, both of our friends, you know, decide what this is and decide the, the fate of our next two hours. Yeah. Well, um, they, they agree they're the moving on. Here telling them it's really too. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just here to facilitate. That's my sure. job. This isn't a tournament. This is flight club. That's cool. Sure. Okay, during my like a cup game, I may have, uh, which I was, if you were watching a couple weeks ago, I was playing Kylo, Quick Draw, and TN, TN numbers. I don't remember what numbers TN, the crit, the crit one. Um, Tina, yeah. Tina, um, that's her name. Um, uh, I may have, I was, I didn't realize, I, I don't remember screwing up the trigger, but after reading the rules of TN, I was like, did I screw up that trigger? I may have screwed up that trigger. <laughs> how that ability works but okay so sun fact chose violence um it's going commander for it. cody looks like uh anakin was happy to just deliver the strain token on commander Co using commander cody so it looks like this was all an elaborate plot to get sun fact in uh plo's bullseye arc that's right and plo he'll have to spend something here he's gonna spend the focus Nothing. Oh, because he's worried about this Darth Maul shot. I'm. Yeah, not I feel sure. you. I feel you. Did Plo? Did wait? Did did Sunfax shoot? Oh, that was the attack. I guess. Oh, he had no. Oh, I was reading the attack wrong. Wait, was I? Yeah, that's what happened. It was Sunfax shooting. Got it. Obi Wan just natting into two hits here. One evade Easy. for Maul. That's pretty good. Has to eat this Plo shot. And now I guess it's an all or nothing haymaker on Plo Koon, just hoping for a blank out or at least, you know, the right number of blanks with the right number of crits. Yeah, I guess you'd go for the Maul kill here because you're too away from doing that. Yeah, just, just take it. Take the kill shot. It's range one. You got the bullseye on. Yeah. Do it. I also want to Hello. point out, so Sunfax entire when Sunfax started shooting up the board on the left side. Oh, oh! does he got a lock? He's he has the eyeball. Just, no uh, lock. He has the eyeball for CLT. Just hold on to the focus. Don't don't spend it. <laughs> There's no reason uh, to. Well, well, he can spend it. Have Obi Wan spend it. Spend a force and then keep it. Oh, that's true. He that's true. That's that. true. Which is you know it's a force management game, which I think he should have committed to that, but he chose not to. He chose safety over violence. One, one whole being violence. Although now uh, Maul's in a tough spot, because even if Maul makes this turn work, um, Maul, uh... Okay. Okay. Let's see. He's, I mean... You spend, either spend two force now. Oh, wait, there was a, a lock target. out there. Oh, yeah. He's probably going to spend yeah, that on the three. Yeah, I would spend it on the blank. Yeah, do it. Do it. Do it. He might take two of them and re-roll. I could see him doing that. Yeah. Oh, I would to not. To try to minimize. Oh! Yes! 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 Uh, Maul is back in the game. Maul has the percent. Maul is putting damage on the board, at least. One blank is... Oh, that's oh. very bad for Plo Koon. Oof. Taking that crit, hit, hit, That crit's crit. a direct. That's a direct. It's a dead Plo. Let's find out. What's in the box? Fuel leak. That's yeah, blank. Blank crit. Um, the least interesting time for fuel leak to come up. Will M Maul... Um, he can use his ability now, right? To fire at Obi-Wan Kenobi, if I'm not mistaken? He can, and he, he can, and he is. He's just going to pot shot Obi-Wan. That's pretty smart. I agree with this plan. If he's, you know, Maul's so close to death... It's going to be Sunfax. This means Sunfax drop next turn is to clean up Plo. There we oh, go. Two crits. Oh, nice. I saw that third crit. No, Obi Wan's taken. Oh. Taken one. That's a shield. The dice have, have rewarded Weasel for the rough positioning start that he had. They had. I do not know. 
Uh, who knows? I don't even know who Wheels <laughs> was. <laughs> All right, everybody. Well, at this moment, we have a score of 28 to 56. Obviously, Chris on the right there has more points because of how chunky Darth Maul is, 111 points. You would expect nothing less from those metal legs. You know, that half is going to be heavy. Okay, so who uh, has first player? So it's going to be Maul. So Maul actually has to get clear this time, which means Plo might have the opportunity to get shots on Maul, which means Maul's objective is to block Obi Wan and let yep. Sunfact let Sunfact kill Plo while dealing with whatever Anakin's doing. Uh, do we do we think that Maul's going to get another shot this turn? Man, I mean, this, this game. I don't. I'm not sure he will. I don't know if he can. Um. Uh, Make a bet on it for the chat. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'd have to reset the the active one. Oh, Unfortunately, yeah. we can't have more than one. That'd be great, but yeah. This is really like this is the moment where you wish you know you like you wonder if Weasel is sort of wishing he could have taken Dooku because Dooku is in some ways the Maul is obviously the you know Maul has Ray potential when it comes to damage you know and the ability mm -hmm. you know being able to throw poor trunk parts at I five like Maul's got a lot going for him. But Dooku sort of leans into the scimitar's like ominous, stealthy nature because of how it can move, how he can toss tokens away. Um, all right, we have movement. Maul is doing a two bank of some some kind. So, two bank okay. that clears. Maybe uh, maybe a little cloaking action. Just cloaking. Hope cloak and hope. Smart. If Obi Wan did another. K, like a 4 or 5K. This is bad. So maybe... The sucker can barrel roll. Maybe barrel rolling is the right idea. Because enforce the... Although R4P17 is still in effect. So. He's going for double. double I don't agree uh, with perceptive. the double focus. This, see, like, this is something I want to point out. Perceptive Copilot has done almost nothing from all of this game. Like, Jedi are in a tough position because, you know, they, they're trying to... Oh! But he called it. He called Got that Obi Wan would. Maul is safe. Maul. I gotta say, I think Maul's gonna shoot again. Yeah. Yeah. Now it was. <laughs> Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> though, 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 you know what though, it, Bryant, it kind of makes if. If uh, Dyer was so like, you know, I'm going for the bump, bump or lose, uh, I would have taken the target lock instead of the perceptive because yeah, now it's yeah, a wasted action. Because you have one force, it's all you need for that one die you're gonna roll. Like the the question was whether he would cloak, whether he would barrel roll. Okay, so Plo knows that he's on his last leg, so he's trying. Oh, that's actually not that's not the right idea to try and block Sunfact because <laughs> if you bump Sunfact, Sunfact can take the token, move, put it on you, shoot you. <laughs> yes. Oh boy. That's how that one works. Yeah, that one's not a fully ex that's not that one's not fully executed either. It is just after you execute a maneuver. Yeah, which means Sunfac is happy on a, on moving first or second because if he moves first, triggers a bump. Okay. Oh, he jumped over. Okay, so that barrel roll ends up working out because now Sunfac cannot shoot him. Uh, no, though, Pete, I, I see. Got a shot on I see how Sunfac. I see how Sunfac can shoot him. Oh wait, you can you can go to the take the tractor barrel to roll the left, to, yeah. to the left, pass the tractor, move. You don't have to move. Well, you can move Plo to get him off the the astro the asteroid or. To get him, make sure that the asteroid's not obstructing the shot. Right. Yeah, you want to take that tractor and barrel roll left, uh, um, Weasel. That's if you can. You can't hear me, Weasel, but I'm begging you, don't. That Obi Wan ain't worth it. You got to score points on Plo. You can take three down to two and roll tons of dice. Yeah, I think he's right now the temptation. He's yeah, of, oh. he, he's taking the tractor. Step one, confirmed. Yeah, because he knows he can throw it onto Plo anyway. Yep. Oh, no. Oh. oh, oh. Okay. That's I not going to reset. I think he can still get rid of the tractor. I think he can still get rid of the tractor and prevent Anakin from. Uh, Give it to uh, by giving it to Maul, right? It doesn't do anything to Maul, so. Oh, I think he may have been worried about the torpedo from Anakin. Mm. Mm. Facts. Yeah. Sun facts. From a point score, well, if he gains just a half Obi Wan, because Obi Wan's Obi Wan's got all that force. Interesting, interesting 
choice. I don't agree with it, but that's okay. I'm not playing the game. I am not the man in the arena, as Teddy Roosevelt said. Although I hate that quote. I think it's a, uh, I think it's a rough quote that people just put on T-shirts and in gymnasiums <laughs> and not really think about what it means. All right, let's look at chat. Uh, da, 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 yeah, it looks like the goal was to avoid try and get the obstructive proton. Oh no, targets! Oh, he tractored himself. Oh no, he's got little. he's got you can he can pass it to Darth Maul, can't he? It's just oh, he should pass. Yeah, hopefully he remembers that it's a friendly yeah. ship too. He's doing it. He's doing it. He's remembering. He, do Give it. it to Maul. Give it to Maul. You can do it. You're just. Man, Dion, this is your entire life. This is you just watching every game, just like begging people to remember how they're. <laughs> yes. Looks like he did it. Yes. Yeah, there's the tractor. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that's a good place for something. Yeah, but he needs, so just for anybody who's watching, you need three tractor beams to do anything on a large base ship. Oh. A single tractor oh. doesn't do anything. But check this out. Sun fact, because of the graphitic, the graphitic, the graphitic deflection. Uh, while you defend, you may reroll one defense die for each tractor ship in the attack arc. Oh, that's a quest. Oh shoot! Now I can't remember if having one tractor token means them all those tractors or not. It is. It is. It is not. So the it tractor not. beam doesn't do anything whatsoever. Yeah, I'm not sure why they're pulling so out more tractor tokens. Deflect. Well, I mean, it gets it off some back. Uh, one tractor. Does nothing. Yeah. They forgot. Yeah, that's an easy one to forget. It's an easy one because yeah. that's a that's a, a relatively newer phenomena. The tractor and ion yeah, equaling came, number ships are equally big size. That came in January, right? If I remember, yeah. it was a weird like nerf to the Nantex. Oh, he missed the barrel roll. Yeah, I I don't agree with the choice to. Well, by doing that, if he'd barrel rolled, to be fair, if he barrel rolled over here, Obi Wan would have had a shot. Yep. So only oh, one shot yeah. from Anakin. Anakin can throw that torpedo out. It's unobstructed. Of course, oh, well, be Sunfack has the focus. Well, let's find Just out. Let's see if it ends up being painful. Oh, got the target lock out there. This is likely going to be four. I think in the end it would have been more worth to try and score points on. Play. Oh well, yeah. Three, <laughs> three hits and a crit coming in. Yeah, that's a crit for Sunfact, who only has four hull. If it's a direct, that's half points. If it's, you know, maybe he's just hoping for not structural damage. Uh, whatever one. No, Natty's okay. baby. Okay, only a crit, only. Yeah, Epionic's right. If uh, if he'd picked Plo as the victim, as, as, as the violence pain, okay, fuel leak for Sunfact. If he picked Plo as the violence receiver, um, he would have had graphitic deflection, which he didn't need after all. So, um, man, and it's still only a fifty-something point. I, I'm not following the score like you are, um, Dion. Uh, it's fi yeah, only right. fifty to twenty something. Yeah, twenty-eight to fifty-six. And Anakin's pretty. Anakin's pretty easy to get to. Interesting. So no right, about Dion, the fuel leak. Were, if... Just want to make sure everybody knows fuel leak on Sunfat. Go ahead. What was your question? I was going to say, Dion, where would you try and move Maul right now? Oh, man. Uh, let me look at my angles. I know what my heart wants. I just don't know if it fits. It doesn't. Oh, man. You wish you wish that the, that the sloop towards the bottom of the table would fit. But uh, not the left one, the right one would. Yeah, the right one does. Yeah, towards the uh, the viewers. Sorry, my my screen's all um messed around. Uh, viewers top side. Uh, I kind of wish the one towards the left would fit. That'd be super yeah. sweet. That, that's gonna definitely be off the board. Um, I mean, yeah, you just you take this loop towards the top of the board and hope to have something in the arc. Um, but you're definitely going to get a shot. Like Obi-Wan, um, you, you might be able to trade uh, Obi-Wan for, or excuse me, Darth Maul for at least one more hit on Obi. Um, if not, you know, what you, what you don't want is to delay so long where you're like running away with Maul and then yeah. Anakin just picks you off and it doesn't, then, then it doesn't matter. 
Yeah, if he two turns, he's heading right for Anakin right now. If he sloops, yeah. he's creating a vector where he can try to score points before Anakin finishes him off with that torpedo. Mm -hmm. Which you know that, like, I think, I suspect Chris is... Chris is looking at this as, like, okay. Now, the interesting thing is Plo... I think Plo is in danger because Sunfac... If Sunfac is probably going to one turn to turn to the right... That's... And then... Barrel roll, pass the token, use the barrel roll. Yeah, that's where I figured Plo would be. He's just trying to get Plo in a place to get some shots anywhere. And should have killed Plo last turn. That's what... That's just... The torpedo... Was not worth not killing Plo. Okay, Obi-Wan's roughly where I thought he would be. Oh, I thought he might turn and try to arc dodge Maul. All right, so yeah, we got that the sloop, and you have that droid that lets him do uh do his actions yep. anyway. Strong, I mean, strong the... synergy there. Oh. oh. Does the barrel get him out of the arc? No, it does not. No, I would. Cloak. Oh, that feels bad. Yep. A cloak, and then that will give you more green dice than his reds. But he's still got Anakin. Anakin's probably sitting there, just you know, sitting in the batting cage, just just winding up. Cloak and, and hope. See, as an easy way for Sun Fact to punish Obi Wan for. Um. Okay. So he's counting on Obi Wan getting a blank. Oh, I guess Arwen made a brief appearance. Hi, Arwen. Yeah, she was whispering in the background. <laughs> yeah. B-52 Benner. Um, how interesting, Anakin. Why'd you do that? That's a very confusing decision to me. Um, uh, <laughs> Epionics says, the, ta the target lock. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's a pretty gutsy move. It's like, yeah, you beat me this turn. I'm going to beat you next turn, even though math says you can kill me. I guess he... Oh, Anakin... Maybe trying to just lose a torpedo. Oh no! I don't agree with these decisions. Ah, uh, Weasel. Weasel, you were the chosen one. Everyone's so, the chosen one. That's right. Well, so looking at you know, the battle for the Republic, I think the Republic might uh, end up on top, taking it two to one. Uh, no clean sweep here, though. Oh, that's a free... Anakin doesn't care about the torpedo. He's got a reload. He can just... Yeah, this turn. Yep. <laughs> Oopsie from Dire Weasel in, in game chat. Yeah, I'm guessing that Dire Weasel is less experienced with uh, the CIF, the Separatist Aces. Um, yep. And and uh, Chris came in committed to... Uh, yep, firing that instinctive aim. Yep, that's... Pay the force. Have one eyeball. Who needs it? You have four... Four red dice. That's um, right. He's at but least one, confident enough with Republic Anakin to say. That's yep. going to be four. To spend the force, right? Does he have? That's three. Hit, a, hit crit crit. Yeah, he, who, who did he lose that into? Uh, I'm not sure because the, they were right next to each other. Yeah, that'd be Sunfact. Okay, and that's not a death blow, but Sunfact's not happy in that position. No dice. Dice can. Yeah, I Chat got it. Sorry. Dice. I turned it off because they left the dice in there. and then, then, That's why I hate turning it off. I always forget to turn it back on. We did. Right. Which triggers fuel leak. Yep, so he's going to be down to one hull. Yeah. Oof. Well, one of the things I want to know, I know that, uh, you know, this has been a rough game for, for Dire Weasel, but... Um, what we have seen is that th this matchup could have gone very differently. And you could see that even though uh, some of the choices have made it so that Dire uh, Weasel has a disadvantage, that really the ships had had a chance. Like there was, you could see multiple opportunities where Dire yeah. had options to win this game. Yeah, very hard agree on, uh, are they going to say this is a shot? That's interesting. No, it doesn't look like it. Um, yeah, I, I think Weasel could have made this build work, uh, this Grievous Perceptive Torpedo. Um, but for that to work, uh, he might have wanted to play more aggressively with Sunfax so that um, Grievous could trigger. So that he could trade damage. But, oh, that may yet trigger still if they're trying to kill Sunfax. 
Yeah, he's just yeah. He looks like we're just trying to finish Sunfact off. Yeah, just yep. one, one ship at a time. Okay, this is gonna be safe. Of aids needed. But 24 minutes left in the game. Uh, Weasel needs to. Weasel, in order to win, Weasel needs to kill Anakin and kill Plo Koon, and then maybe half on Obi-Wan, I think, and keep his ships alive. And actually, no, <laughs> I don't like I don't like the path there. All right, those are the blanks that he was counting on with his positioning. It's your chance. You got your chance. Ah! Nope. Nope. Gone. That's 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 not how you wanna. Yeah, Sunfact's an interesting ship because you really want to like think of him as trying to create this circle around whatever target he's trying to kill. Like he's trying to constantly right. bounce around it, and instead he did a five k, which I don't fully get. Like I think the five k is for when Sunfact is done playing and needs to get out and then restart his attack vector. Agreed. Right now, Agreed this, there. Yeah, it's a this... resetting move. Yeah. Uh, but now Maul's got to turn into an Anakin and, and then eat <laughs> yeah and then eat a bunch of CLT shots because you know this is the turn where the, the Jedi will move second I think yeah the Jedi will move second so they'll have all the opportunity to line up the CLTs now um, as this game winds to an end I want to say thank you to both the players for playing remember guys don't go anywhere we're going to do a, uh, a marble race here if you've never been a part of it go ahead now it's actually already set up in the background type exclamation point play um, and we're going to be giving away uh, your choice of emote to be added to the gold squadron twitch here for a little bit uh, I won't work on it live online I'll, I'll work on it on the side and you'll see it probably pop up uh, later Later today, or or or, uh, or maybe maybe Monday at some random time, but just depends on how how things going. But uh, should be a nice fun thing that we do here at the community uh, to encourage people hanging out throughout the stream. Really appreciate it. And we'll be giving it away a couple of different ways. Sometimes we'll do marble races. Sometimes we'll have you guys, uh, you know, put in points for raffle tickets. Like you know, we got we got plans for it. Yep. But uh, here right. we go, well, Darth Maul going into the teeth now. This is only where he can go with that or off the board. He could have honorable, honorably finished it, I guess. You know, flown off the board and. <laughs> and yeah, Obi Wan's happy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I guess when you're this ahead, you just line up your death shots and. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Oh, he's he's he's. Yeah, boarding points, that's the way to go. Chris is Chris is remembering his fundamentals. Okay, so he's got the opportunity to pay a force and clear that stress. He missed the cloud, so this whole thing could end with him taking a target lock on Maul to finish him off without trade, without trading points. And the yep. stress is gone, takes the I focus. Do that when you can focus. Yeah. Well, wait, Anakin has the force. One force point. Yeah, you should, yeah I think Anakin should have target locked there. Whatever. Yeah, I agree. Chris, Chris has made the right move, movement choices. So. <laughs> and Anakin. Does Anakin put the nail in the coffin? Maul has two hole left on that ship. Here's the lock that he didn't use. <laughs> didn't get. Hit yeah. crit. That's why, you, yeah. A blank ends it. Not yet. A direct Takes hit. a crit, though. True. <laughs> Grabbing the whole damage deck like you do sometimes in TTS. Yeah, that's that's right. That's that's a power move. That's what that is. I feel like also when you do that, it's all and like I'm speaking for myself personally. It's always disabled power regulator doesn't affect the game. Um, it's always a bit of a tell if you grab the whole deck that it tells one of two things: either a, you know, you're still getting your way around TTS and using it to play X-wing. Um, which is a much safer way to play X-Wing in, in, in these uncertain times. Um, Correct. Going to your game store. Um, or also, if you're like me, uh, when you start grabbing the damage deck, it usually means you're a bit behind and flustered. And you're yep, just like, oh you, no. You I click I'm longer. Angry clicks, <laughs> yeah. 
Oh yeah, fact died. Uh, so that grievous charge should be back, but they're not remembering their triggers. Okay, well he's trying to get Anakin. He gets his chance. I mean, <laughs> he paid for those points. He gets to try. He scores the points. He scores some points. Takes him down to one. Almost got him. Man, if you, it's just like you're just looking at this going like this does highlight like despite how. It's interesting to watch, um, like, like the fundamental strength of Maul is that even at, uh, even as weakened as he can be, if you, if he catches you in his firing arc, he can just hit you with a hammer and mm -hmm. score some points. So we got to give credit to Weasel and the designers of the FFG for, you know, remembering that that's the case, even though Chris has done some great moves. Yep. That's it for Maul. There's no way out of that. All right. Well, congratulations to Chris for winning this matchup of Gold Squadron Flight Club. Hopefully, you've enjoyed it. Those of you who are watching, we're going to go chit-chat with the players, and then we're going to do our race to figure out what emote is going to be chosen by the winner. Of course, I do have the right to veto if you want something not appropriate or dumb. So... <laughs> Hey, I'm just being honest, guys. Just being honest, okay? Make it applicable. All righty. So um, let's go talk to the players. Let's go ahead and jump in their room, Brent. Let's do it. All right. Hello, friends. Hi. Hello, sir. That that was uh, that was a little bit of a rough game, Dyer, but, uh, but Maul finished with a big swing there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he he finally uh, he he had a <laughs> first round. He made up for it there towards the end. There you go. Maul, there you uh, go. I I was just saying on stream. Maul Maul had a rough game, but every time Maul cut something in the firing arc to, after that first whiffed engagement, Maul reminded everyone, you know, why he's such a powerhouse, what he can do. So for sure, um, for sure. Congrats to both of you for showing off some really uh, interesting stuff. So before we let you guys go here, uh, Chris, when I gave you the uh, the challenge and, 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 and put you into the flight club, what were your thoughts uh, for why you brought the list you brought? And um, yeah, let us know. Well, so I immediately thought, you know, I immediately I went, okay, let's look at what the separatists have. And I saw that... Uh, it was two Nantexes and Darth Maul, so I was thinking, okay, if he throws uh, tractors at me, how can I get around that? And uh, I was like, well, Plo Koon, he just steals tractors. Um, and then I was like, I was also thinking, you know, uh, Darth Maul's a powerhouse. He hits really hard, as evident by almost taking off two of my ships mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so i was like i i was fighting between uh a delta 7b anakin or a uh, instinctive aim anakin and the whole reason for um the dorsal turret and the clone commander cody was i was i was thinking if anakin can't get damaged through to uh sun fact or to maul if he can at least cancel one of my dice, then mm -hmm. I can get the strain on for uh, Obi Wan or Plo Koon. And I also just felt Obi Wan was was solid. Was okay, I mean, solid yeah, Obi Wan ship. is just yeah. he's he's like he's the best ship that the the, 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 the Republic has for sure. All right, man, and, thank you so much. And uh, what about you, Dire Weasel? Oh, sorry, I forgot to hit the button. Um, yeah, um, like you said, uh, options for separatists are pretty limited at the I-5-6 range. So uh, it was just, uh, I, I couldn't fit all three on very well. So I was like, let's just pile on as much as I can on these two ships. And I didn't figure I'd use half of it, which, you know, I didn't. And I've never, ever, ever had any ability or skill with uh, Nentex. I just don't know how to make them work. So I knew it was uphill from the beginning, and then he flew great. And like you said, that Commander Cody was great to put uh, to keep the strain on that I couldn't get rid of, and it was yeah, it was tough, but it was a good time. 
Well, Dyer, I would suggest definitely go back and watch this game because we give you some suggestions and some opportunities where you could have done a couple <laughs> of things a little bit differently. And I th- honestly think you learn a lot because there was there was definitely some some of your moves where you did absolutely the right thing. And there's just a couple of opportunities you had where you actually really could have swung the game with like one or two different decisions. So go back and watch. I think you're you're going to learn a lot for sure. And despite the, I want to just say, despite the point gap uh, at the end of the game, uh, early in the game, the fact that it hovered around. 50 to 20 for so long meant yeah, even with the rough early engage from all i was sitting there the whole time going like this could swing back the other way i don't know the math on it swinging back the other way but it was it was able to make the jump the entire time but like it just both of y'all just put in put in some good moves and showed that the game was competitive uh, right up until it wasn't sure sure no i appreciate that and i will definitely watch this uh, at least a couple times and see what i can pick up awesome and uh bryant thank you so much for commentating with me today Thank you so much for having me, Dion. Look forward to being back either as a competitor or commentator.